Good morning. I'm booking a little rough, bit of a jump scare for you guys. Um, welcome back to my channel. Oh, hello, Chomp. <laughs> you guys hear that? <laughs> Anyways, um, I slept for 13 hours last night. I obviously needed it. And I haven't been filming as much because I've been riding the very thin line of burnout. So I've just kind of been prioritizing like work and staying sane, really, more than videos, which is fine. But it's a long weekend, so I'm really going to prioritize rest. I don't have any plans as of right now. The only thing I can think of in the immediate to-do list is I need to just go and get my sister a birthday present and then that's about it. I've been reading quite a bit so maybe I'll do a little bit of a, a reading vlog with you guys, reading recap, I don't know. Um, I don't know what this, this is going to look like, I don't know what we're going to end up doing, if anything. <laughs> um, it might be a very, very, yes, a very chill reading vlog. So that's the plan who knows yeah just gonna go and get my sister a birthday present it's friday right now i've got friday saturday sunday monday off work but so much time and i'll probably spend most of it sleeping and then i'll feel bad about wasting my time but it's fine i obviously need the rest oh oh yeah come along welcome to the vlog it is Minus 30 with wind chill out right now, so as we all know, fashion has no place in the cold. So this is the look. <laughs> that was sexy. Mm. Okay, so I might have made an impulse purchase. And by impulse purchase, I mean, I've looked at it for the last months and been like, oh, should I do it? Should I? And I never have. I love having like slightly red toned hair but dyed my hair blonde a few years ago and like the remnants sorry my hair's a disaster the remnants of that are just sitting at the bottom now and before that I had quite red hair and I love having red hair I had it for years and then at this point I was just like okay let's just let it all grow out let's go back to natural but I'm bored so what we do today <clears throat> me nothing's gonna happen on this vlog let's dye my hair I was wearing some white tops which just seems like a bad idea so I never wear this bra so we're just gonna do this while we do it and jump right in I bought two because I used to do this and um, one bottle would never cover my entire hair, ever. Okay, that's the post. Comes like a little conditioning cream after you've done it. And we have some instructions, which are always taped together, which I never understand. I always rip them. Thank you. 
darker in some places where it's wetter but I like it it's very um Daisy Jones which is ideal <laughs> This is brilliant. I need the third one, but I have so many books in my pile. And I'm trying to work through them by like, I have set a rule for myself to read six, buy one. And of those six, one is allowed to be a Kindle book and one is allowed to be a reread if I'm so inclined. Because I have so many on the pile and it's stressing me out. So I am trying to get through it before I buy more books, but that one was so good. I just want, the next one but as is that's not gonna happen oh also i finished the most recent um sarah j mass book that came out the house of flame and shadow i'll put a picture here and i'm a diehard sarah j mass fan i've been reading her books since i was for basically 10 years at this point and i had to use to, i used to have to wait um like a year for the new releases to come out so the new one came out and I won't give any spoilers, but it is my least favourite of hers. The plot, the lore, the characters, uh, like absolute train wreck. I don't know what happened, all the books, all the characters that I fell in love with, they weren't there. I was like at the book, mm, weren't, no spoilers, didn't love the character regression it wasn't character development it was character regression this time around so not a fan i also read a different another one recently what did i read oh i read the third from blood and ash and i started that book in 2021 and i could not get through it and then it was kind of like exactly what i needed post Sarah J Mass come down so I finished it and it was really good and I would like to continue the series which I didn't think I would say so that one's done as well so I'm in a big fantasy kick I haven't had a big fantasy kick in a long time I've been definitely into like the contemporary lit and all of that but I'm in big fantasy mode right now so I think I will probably continue with that I have quite a few in my pile so I'm just gonna grab another one and keep reading but yeah loved that book um it's the second one in the devabad trilogy probably butchering the pronunciation this is a middle eastern inspired fantasy so i guarantee that my pronunciations are lacking but again no spoilers but again i read the first one a very long time ago and i Keenan bought me this one recently, recently, like a couple months ago, and I still didn't read it, but I just, just read it, <laughs> and it was brilliant, but it's like, there are three main characters that you get their narration from, and they're all from different tribes, kind of, yeah, they're all from different tribes, and it's just like the history of all the different tribes and the land and the city that they're living in and it's just like brutality upon brutality upon oppression upon oppression upon vengeance upon vengeance and it's just like everyone is so angry based on thousands of years of history much like the real world and these three are all from the different tribes and it's like if they all could maybe stop fighting each other long enough to work together there could potent there is the potential of a peaceful future in their land but who knows if that's gonna happen 
it's oh it's just so intelligent and brilliant highly recommend highly recommend the series is the Devabad trilogy the first book is City of Brass by S.A. Chakraborty again probably butchering the pronunciation but highly highly recommend I'm getting ready for bed now with the next book on the list another sequel to a trilogy I think uh, Blade Breaker. The first one was Realm Breaker. I did think I think I spoke about that one in one of my book, one of my videos. So yeah, that's the the bedtime story of choice after finishing that other one. So let's get into it. Um, yeah, I'm just in bed now. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Lancaster. this concoction? Oh, just, just ginger lemonade. Ginger lemonade? Yeah, but you don't have a microplane. Kanan's pizza looks like a cartoon. Do you remember the Goofy movie? Beautiful day. 
be could do some wonders for my mood. Can you do it? If I bought it, it wouldn't be a new book. But I don't have the physical copy. into a climbing store so I'm just gonna go grab some snacks because I think my blood sugar is low but it is such a nice day and I was in such a bad mood earlier and literally they're just being like outside sunshine mountains all's right in the world again and I haven't actually been to mountains in a long time so maybe this was all I needed Thank you. <laughs> I have the hiccups and I'm so wildly unhappy. This day was so This day was going so good. Okay. Okay, I we got home and I feel so rough. I got the worst hiccups to the point where it's like, ouch, I'm gonna throw up. So, not feeling great. Keenan's gone home. My hair looks like a bird, and I am just gonna read probably on my phone before I 
going to sleep, getting ready for tomorrow. I also set up my Apple Watch again, which I haven't used in like three months or more. So I set that up again. Oh, my hair, I can't. <laughs> um, yeah, so I set that up again. And I'm thinking I need to sort of get back into a routine and start looking after myself, like physically, mentally, all of it. I'm good at like bits and bobs of both, but I think I just need to be a little bit more structured with it for a few weeks and just support myself because I have been feeling really bluesy, really rough. So I'm just kind of getting a bit tired of myself, sick and tired of it, um, bored with it. I'd like to have a bit more energy, I'd like to have a bit more grace about me. So yeah, I think that's going to be the next week or so, or not, no, next few days, just get back into that. Maybe I'll film that as well, but for right now, this will be the end of this vlog. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. It'll be a little cheeky, long weekend, and this will probably go up a day later than usual. It won't go up on Tuesday, it'll probably go up on the Wednesday because this is Monday evening at like 10pm. It's not going to be ready to go by tomorrow morning, so we'll see. <laughs> but anyways, thank you guys for watching. You know, you know the drill, the likes, comments, subscribes, all the things I get shy asking, but it all makes a difference. So thank you for watching and I hope you have a lovely week ahead. We'll see you next week.